Alright, so we are moving towards the end of 2016 and many great applications have swarmed the Google Play Store recently. Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Android Guru here and in today's video, I'm going to give you guys the top 10 best must-have free Android applications for the month of November 2016. So without any further ado guys, let's get started. Listen. Kicking off today's lists of applications, at number one we have an application called Frame, which is a wallpaper application but it's very different from the others out there. Now this is by far the most polished wallpaper application I have ever seen and the wallpapers are really high def and the way the application is presented is really unique as it has three sections featured, popular and a section called photo of the day. Now the wallpapers blend into the background as you view them which provides a really nice parallax effect and if you have a phone with a nice display it's just icing on top of the cake. Now in order to set any wallpaper as your home screen's wallpaper all you need to do is click on the wallpaper and you'll have three options either to download it to share it or to set it as wallpaper now clicking on the download icon right here it's gonna ask you for a permission and you just want to hit allow on that and then you just wait for the wallpaper to download for demonstration purposes I'm just going to cancel it right now but all in all you can also directly set it as your wallpaper and it's a very good polished material designy free app on the Play Store link is in the description go ahead check it out moving on to the next application App number two is an application called Universal Copy. And seriously, this is one of the most amazing applications ever. Basically, what this application allows you to do is copy texts from areas where we generally can't copy text from. So all you need to do is open the application and grant the permissions and switch it to on. Now, for example, let's go to YouTube. Now, we can't really copy all of this stuff, but you can with the help of Universal Copy. Now, either, either whether it's some pictures or some tweets or anything that it is, anything which has text can be copied by just clicking on the notification, clicking and hold on the Universal Copy page. And it's really amazing because you can literally copy the name of your applications in your app drawer and the tweets, the titles of the tweets, all you can do, all you have to do is go to notification, click on the Universal Copy thing, click and hold on it and there we go you can copy it right now now it also works with the app drawer applications which is pretty interesting you can copy the app labels of the applications in the same way you would copy anything else and it's pretty cool so go ahead check it out it's free in the google play store link is in the description below the third application is for all you android nougat lovers out there this is flat ui for zupo widget now it's a bunch of material design widgets which are recently updated with the Android Nougat widgets and to be honest this is pretty cool like it has all of those popping colors which you wanna like I go for the minimalist look but in case you're a big fan of the material design looks there are a couple of different widgets which some of them are generic and some of them are pretty unique so you can add them to your play store no matter what your style is in order to add it click and hold on an empty space on your home screen go all the way down and select any super widget so having super widget pro is a prerequisite for this application and the pack itself is free you want to go to flat UI and select any widget you want the widgets are really cool and it's a relatively new application which is again free so go ahead check it out link is in the description below so if you listen to NCS music a lot, chances are you will love this application. Now no copyright sounds have been around in their YouTube channel for a couple of years and for those of you who don't know about them, they basically upload non-copyright musics which range from EDMs to dubsteps and it's amazing. So all you need to do is download this application and you have no copyright sounds on the go. It is basically powered by SoundCloud so it's basically a music streaming application uh, which has all of the latest and the greatest releases from no copyright sounds. You can play any song that you like, like any normal play, playing application, I mean music streaming application. Uh, for some reason I'm having network issues here but I've tried it earlier and it works just fine. Swiping to the left you also have a couple of genres which you can download and listen to the type of music you want to whether it's chill, dubstep, trap or EDMs or anything that you want. And all in all it's a great free application to listen to your favorite music on the go and not having to open up YouTube to listen to every song that you want to. And yeah, once again it's free in the Google Play Store so go ahead download it, link is in the description below. 
All right. The next application is for all you people. What all you people? Everyone who visits these dodgy websites. And this is called BetterNet. Now, basically, what BetterNet does for you is shield your internet network and in case you don't understand that it's basically a virtual private network it creates a virtual private network over your existing network so that all your browsing remains private it's like incognito mode except that it is full time so no matter what you do with this being switched on all of it is safe and therefore you have uh, no danger of you know your internet information or your phone's information being revealed or hacked by anyone on the internet it's really helpful when you uh, open certain dodgy websites uh, when you're lonely uh yeah so these kind of applications basically shield your internet application for any viruses or anything and it's uh, pretty useful when you're you know like opening certain websites uh, which are not so trusted by google itself or chrome itself uh the application is pretty straightforward open it and enable it and that's it you're done browse away my friend moving on to the next application Minimalism is the name of the game with this next application and it is called Minima. Now Minima is basically a music player which is minimalistic AF. Now opening this application up you can see we have a nice record label type of music player -y thingy going on and swiping down or swiping to the left you can view your play uh, playlists and all of that good stuff. Now going back to home you can see all your albums and tracks are arranged in a pretty cool manner uh, which is very easy to access and all your music is already organized. Now, in order to play any song, obviously you can't hear it because, well, uh, copyright issues, my friend. You can select and hold on any song and add it to your playlist. And uh, the important or the pretty cool thing here is that whenever you play a song, uh, you can. Um, okay, this is a different application called Music Match. But getting back to Minima, whenever you play a song, uh, you can swipe around or you know swipe the song in this kind of manner, which is, I guess, pretty minimalist. I mean, minimalist. Uh, I can't speak today. So this application is basically just for its looks. It organizes your music, keeps in a much more simpler method. You have a lot of settings where you can turn on uh, different options which you can play around with on your own. Uh, it's kind of boring if I just start explaining them on camera here. And all in all, it's a application which is visually just used for aesthetics of your music player. And in case you're a fan of good music players, this is definitely the one to check out. The next application is going to help you recover the nudes that your girlfriend sent you. Okay, that came out wrong. This is Dumpster. Basically, what this application does is act as a recycle bin for your Android device. So no matter which application you delete, for example, I'm just going to be deleting this wallpaper application called Blurred right here. It's going to be saved. A backup copy of it is going to be saved in this application called Dumpster. Now, all types of files, whether it's a document, a TXT file, a photo, a video, an application, will be saved here once you delete it. And you can either reinstall it or share it or or delete it from here now it's basically you know aimed at people who accidentally delete stuff I mean many a times we delete stuff which we read or it's important and in case you're sure that you don't need it you can open this application up swipe to the left and just hit on clear dumpster which will absolutely clear all the files that were present in your Android device and all in all it's a great application to recover your lost uh, data or files or pictures or music or anything that you might have deleted accidentally or your younger brother or your son or daughter whoever must have deleted it accidentally and it's important to you and yeah it's free in the google play store so go ahead check it out link is in the description the next application is going to help you get free internet access and this is called wi-fi map this is to be used in times of emergencies basically what it does is shows you the different open Wi-Fi networks in your area and gives you the password of all of them uh, the nearest ones or in your city or town wherever it is so that if you're in there and you need internet connection uh, for some reason and it's an emergency you can connect to these Wi-Fi accesses which are basically hotspots that can be connected publicly now opening a hotspot up you can see uh, you can connect the password you can just uh, click on enable password or show the password and they are going to show you the password of any Wi-Fi network you wish you can also download the hotspots as you can see we have an option called unlock password there are ads just skip the ads it doesn't really matter just don't know and you can see uh, the password is displayed right here you can go ahead connect to this Wi-Fi and yeah it helps you get free internet now they also have a dedicated social section uh, for other people who use this application and you can also download uh, the entire hotspot of your city Wi-Fi networks that are available in your city and it's a pretty cool application to be used in emergencies when you need Wi-Fi connection or you just want free internet when you're close to a public Wi-Fi who knows uh, this application is gonna help you do it link is in the description below
Next application is off for all of you people who like to use abbreviations but don't like to be a grammar Nazi instead. This is TextPand. What this allows you to do is create abbreviations or catchphrases for full phrases in short. Basically what this means is if I write TY as the short phrase and the entire phrase as thank you, anytime I type TY in any place where text is to be written, I'll get this check mark type of thing which you can click on and it's gonna turn that small phrase into the entire phrase which is, you know, you want to write to someone, you want to text it. It's really handy in times when you want to text someone but you don't really have the time so you can write just a couple of letters and if you have entered them in this application it's going to work like a charm. Now as you can see I have added already my email and my YouTube link since uh, it's pretty useful while answering business emails uh, for sponsorships and all of that stuff but you can do this with anything. Now going into the settings there are a lot of options to play around with smart case and all of that good stuff which you can check out on your own but in real time view this application basically lets you create short phrases for big phrases you know what i'm saying so if you want to write ywd and it's gonna open it to what you're doing so it's really it helps to save time while texting and again it's free so go ahead check it out last but not the least we have pixel filter which basically helps you browse your phone in the night by lowering the brightness and also saves your battery by turning off certain pixels in the areas of your android device now basically what it does is turn off every one pixel in every four of them on your screen and in case you have an amulet screen this is even better because you'll save even more battery life this helps you get two advantages that is get better battery life and in case you're using the phone in your night and your brightness minimum brightness level is just not enough and it's still too bright for you you can use this application to lower the brightness to help protect your eyes now once you enable it you'll have a notification pop-up where you have a plus and minus icon to make it darker or lighter and you can also click on the gear icon to configure it which i just showed you it's a pretty simple application and it's free so go ahead download it for the google play store and that is pre pretty oh pre pre so that is it pretty much it for today's video a quick reminder we just hit 25,000 subscribers which is amazing so i'd just like to thank all of you for this a giveaway is coming so yeah give this video a like let's see if we can hit 100 likes subscribe to my channel and share this video follow me on instagram facebook twitter and all of those good stuff and this is anwar signing out i'll catch you guys next time peace